Have you ever wondered if living off dividends is actually possible? You've probably heard people talk about it and thought, wow, that sounds amazing, but is it really for me? Well, here's the good news. It absolutely can be. And the trick is knowing exactly how much you need to make it work. And it's probably a lot less than you think. Now, I get it. Figuring out how to live off your investments can feel like one of those goals that's always out of reach. I've been there too, feeling like it's some exclusive club for people with way more money than all of us. But here's the thing. You don't need a fortune to start making dividends work for you. In this video, I'm going to solve this paradox of freedom. I'll show you four investment options, each requiring less investment than the one before. And in the end, I'll show you how to reach the same valuation and monthly dividends with just a $10,000 investment. There are tons of options out there when it comes to passive income, but dividend investing holds a special place in the investing world. Why? Well, it's a set it and forget it type of deal. Unlike other forms of passive income like rental properties, which can be incredibly lucrative, but let's face it, there's a lot more involved with rental properties than people like to admit. You've got maintenance issues and tenant problems, and let's not even talk about the nightmares of evictions. Sure, it's passive income, but it's far from hands off. Now, starting a blog or selling digital products, those are solid options too, but they require years of hard work to build an audience before you can even think about kicking back. With dividends though, you're getting paid just for owning stock. You don't have to write content, maintain a building, or deal with customer service. Your only job is to invest wisely and let the dividends roll in. It's as simple as that. But of course, the simplicity of dividend investing comes with one major challenge. How much do you need to invest to actually live off it? It's a million dollar, or should I say multi-million dollar question. How much do you really need to invest to live off dividends? If you've ever Googled this, you've probably come across some scary numbers. Financial websites and experts will often throw figures at you like $1 million. $2.8 million or even more depending on how much annual income you want. The truth is, it's not as daunting as it sounds, at least not for everyone. The exact amount you need depends on several factors. The dividend yield of the stocks you invest in, your monthly living expenses, and how aggressive you want to be with your investments. Currently, on average, an American earns about $58,000 per year, which is around $4,800 each month. But let's focus on expenses. The average monthly cost of living, including housing, groceries, utilities, and transportation, hovers around $4,000 for most families. Now, if you're living in LA or New York, your expenses, of course, are a bit higher or a lot higher. But hey, if you've made it to a premium spot like LA or New York, you probably don't need to worry about dividends. You've already made it. But for the rest of us, aiming to live off $4,000 a month or $48,000 a year, let's work backward to figure out the investment required. Depending on the stocks you choose, that could require anywhere from $500,000 to well over $1 million in investments. Why such a wide range? Well, it all comes down to the dividend yield or the percentage of your investment that gets paid out in dividends. And that brings us to the next point, finding the right stocks to invest in. If your overall goal is to retire early and live off dividends, you'll need a strategy that's a bit more aggressive than just sticking your money into a savings account or buying a single low-yield stock. One of the biggest mistakes people make is assuming that they need to stick to safe stocks that only pay 2% or 3% in dividends. Yes, safety is important, but if you really want to retire early, you'll need to aim for a higher yield, or at least a balance between growth and income. Think of it this way, if your investments are yielding only 2% and you need $48,000 a year, you'll need to invest a massive $2.4 million just to reach that goal. But if you find stocks or funds with a 6% yield, that same $48,000 only requires an $800,000 initial investment. See the difference? It's all about finding that sweet spot between risk and reward.
One of the stocks that lie in that sweet spot is Federal Agricultural Mortgage Corp Class C with the ticker symbol AGM. This company, commonly known as Farmer Mac, is a reliable dividend payer and has shown impressive growth over the years, making it a strong candidate for dividend investors. Currently, Federal Agricultural Mortgage Corp Class C offers a dividend yield of around 2.85%. While not on the highest on the market, it's backed by a solid company that plays a key role in the agricultural finance sector. On top of that, AGM has a history of increasing its dividends, which is always encouraging for long-term investors. But here's the catch. If you're looking to live off dividends quickly, relying solely on AGM might not get you there as fast as you'd like. With a yield of 2.85%, you would need roughly $1.7 million in AGM stock to generate $48,000 a year in income. You might be asking, how do we arrive at this number? Simply by dividing the required dividend income, which is $48,000, by the dividend yield, which is 2.85%, and it gives us around $1.7 million. Now, I know most of you watching don't have that kind of money. I know for sure John doesn't have that kind of money. Therefore, while it serves as a great cornerstone for a dividend portfolio, you'll need to diversify with some higher yield stocks or other assets to meet your income goals sooner. And don't dismiss AGM based on that $1.7 million requirement, as it has dividend growth and capital appreciation potential. In the end, I'm going to show you how, with the same AGM stock, you can live off dividends with just a $10,000 investment. Stick around. Now, if you're looking for higher yields, you might want to consider Real Estate Investment Trusts, or REITs for short. One of the most popular REITs for dividend investors is Crown Castle with ticker CCI, which offers an attractive dividend yield of around 5.94% significantly higher than many traditional stocks. And not to mention, by law, REITs are required to distribute 90% of their earnings to the shareholders. Why is this important? With a yield of 5.94%, you would only need about $810,000 to generate $48,000 per year, compared to the nearly $1.7 million needed for AGM. Crown Castle also pays dividends quarterly, which can help with consistent income for those relying on dividends for their day-to-day -day expenses. However, like any investment, REITs come with their own risks, especially if the real estate market experiences downturns. But with its higher yield and the stability of the telecommunications infrastructure sector, Crown Castle is definitely worth considering as a higher yield option in your portfolio. Speaking of portfolios, one of the most important rules of investing is diversification, and it brings us to our third option for the lowest capital needed to live off dividends. One of the golden rules of investing is diversification, essentially not putting all your eggs in one basket. Relying on a single company or even a single sector to provide your income is a very risky strategy. What happens if that company decides to slash its dividend? Or what if the entire sector faces a downturn? Like, if you were heavily invested in just one company like AGM, a sudden shift in the agricultural finance industry could impact your returns significantly. This is why it's crucial to spread your investments across multiple companies, sectors, and even asset classes to mitigate risk. Moreover, diversification not only reduces risk, but also increases your potential for stable, long-term returns. An easy way to diversify your dividend investments is by purchasing dividend-focused exchange-traded funds, or ETFs. These funds are designed to hold a broad array of dividend-paying stocks from various sectors, giving you instant diversification without the hassle of hand-picking individual stocks. For instance, ETFs like Vanguard Dividend Appreciation ETF or iShares Select Dividend ETF offer exposure to multiple industries, ensuring that your portfolio stays balanced and resilient even during market fluctuations. In short, diversifying is like building a financial safety net, ensuring that no single market event can derail your entire investment strategy.
One of the ETFs that could fulfill your and John's requirement for generating $48,000 in annual dividends with the lowest possible capital is the iShares MSCI Taiwan ETF with the ticker symbol EWT. With an impressive dividend yield of around 9.96%, this ETF stands out for investors seeking high yields without needing a massive upfront investment. Why does this matter? With a yield of 9.96%, you'd only need around $482,000 in capital to generate $48,000 per year in dividend income. This is significantly less than the $810,000 required for Crown Castle or the $1.7 million needed for AGM. The iShares MSCI Taiwan ETF provides exposure to some of Taiwan's most prominent companies, offering not only high yields but also the potential for capital appreciation from a growing, tech-driven economy. Now let's talk about a relatively new player in the dividend game, Covered Call ETFs. A covered call ETF works by selling call options on the stocks it holds, generating additional income on top of the dividends. These funds can offer much higher yields than traditional dividend stocks, making them a great option for those looking to live off dividends sooner rather than later. One of the most popular covered call ETFs is QYLD, which offers a yield around 11.49%. That's right, 11.49%. This means you'd need about $418,000 invested to generate $48,000 a year in dividends. Covered call ETFs like QYLD, along with others such as JEPI and NUSI, can significantly boost your income thanks to the premium income generated from selling call options on their holdings. However, this higher yield does come with added risk. Covered call strategies limit the upside potential of the stocks in the ETF, which can cap your gains in a rising market. Additionally, these ETFs tend to underperform during times of extreme volatility as the premiums from selling calls may not be enough to offset the losses in the underlying stocks. This makes QYLD and similar ETFs more suitable for those who are comfortable with potentially slower capital growth in exchange for higher immediate income. So let's take a look at how all these options stack up, comparing the potential returns, risks, and investment amounts needed to reach your dividend goals. Federal Agricultural Mortgage Corp Class C AGM has a dividend yield of 2.85%, making it the safest option, but you'd need approximately $1.7 million invested to generate $48,000 per year. While it's a stable company with consistent growth in dividends, the lower yield means you need a higher initial investment to meet your income goals. Crown Castle, CCI, with a 5.94% dividend yield, offers a higher income with significantly less capital required, around $810,000, but it's more exposed to risks in the real estate and telecommunication sectors. For those seeking even higher yields, the iShares MSCI Taiwan ETF, or EWT, offers a 9.96% dividend yield, requiring only $482,000 to hit the $48,000 annual target. This ETF provides broad diversification and exposure to Taiwan's growing tech-driven economy, but it carries the risk of geographic and market-specific volatility. Lastly, the QYLD Covered Call ETF offers the highest yield at 11.49%, needing just $418,000 in capital. While it's an excellent option for generating immediate income, it comes with added risks, particularly in volatile markets, as covered call strategies limit the upside potential in rising markets and may underperform during periods of instability. Here's an extra tip for you. One of the best strategies for starting out with dividend investing is to reinvest those dividends. Instead of cashing out, you can reinvest the dividends back into purchasing more shares, which generates even more dividends over time. This is where the magic of compounding truly shines. For example, starting with a principal investment of $10,000 in AGM with a dividend yield of 2.85%, you and John can see significant growth over the years. After one year, your investment would grow to $11,585.
Over 10 years, this compounds further to a portfolio value of $45,140. The real magic happens over 20 years, where you would see your total investment valuation reach $224,327. If you stick with this strategy for 30 years, the potential total value of your portfolio could reach $1,266,762, paying around $71,067 in annual dividends or around $5,922 in monthly dividend income. So back to our original question, is it really possible to live off dividends? The answer is yes, but with a caveat. It requires careful planning, smart investing, and most importantly, time. The good news is you don't necessarily need to hit that magic $1 million or $2 million mark to start seeing the benefits. Even a smaller dividend income can be a game changer. An extra $1,000 or $2,000 a month can cover a mortgage, help you work part-time, or simply give you more financial freedom. Want to know how the snowball effect can turn $10,000 into a portfolio worth over $9 million? Click the video on the screen to find out.